Hey everyone, hope everybody's having a great day. It's beautiful outside. Had a wonderful little over six, seven mile run this morning. And I mentioned that I'll be sharing some things based off of this last year and a lot of things that I'm learning or adjusting. Even after having done tries for the last 17 years, I'm still constantly learning things. And especially as I get older, um, there's things that I did before that I either have to adjust or um, it's not working in the same way. So I have to again make some changes and um, I'm not a bad eater I don't think I ever really was bad um, but you can always be healthier and incorporate better habits and um, one of the things that um, again as you get older and your muscle mass changes and nutrition um, the importance of protein and I never really focused on that as long as I, you know you carb up for long runs and you kind of know what works for your body um one of the things is that i'm not a big breakfast person every now and then not even once a month i may want like some waffles or a pancake but for the most part it's actually kind of hard for me to eat breakfast because i'm not really hungry especially before noon typically some days that may change but for the most part um and in order to get enough protein especially as i'm realizing from my body weight um i need about 60 or so grams of protein which if you're not eating a meal <laughs> that puts more pressure on the others and then even on top of that um like i said I, I will say part of my bad habit is like not always eating three meals a day and then sometimes they say you don't have to eat three meals you can eat little meals and snacks but if i'm not hungry it's just really hard for me to force myself to eat something and that's real um and so there's been times i've eaten one meal a day one meal and a snack or two kind of ish meals and so to really be more mindful of how do i get 20 grams of protein in each meal if i'm doing three meals a day or throughout the day what are some things that would help me um like i said i'm trying to make sure that i eat something for breakfast more and I will say I have eaten breakfast so usually it would be like an apple and some coffee or an apple and some tea or some type of fruit some blackberries every now and then some yogurt and blackberries which like I said is obviously Greek yogurt has more protein but regular or yogurt may not be that's just not enough um don't ask me how I've been able to get away with this <laughs> for years and do triathlons um and not pass out but it worked for me and now oh my gosh this year was rough like trying to figure out what's going on why am i tired why am i like did not really crashing during a race but by the time i get to the run like oh my gosh i'm tired or you know my garment tells me my battery battery and there's times that it's maybe on 50 um and i have a race that day and i need to be at 100 so i can give you know all the energy and have really fueled up so i'm sharing today a few things that um i'm incorporating into what i eat um and this is to give me some variety of things to be able to snack on or eat or incorporate and some variety of like different things i'm not going to eat the same day every day um we all I mean, most of us know that eggs are a good source of protein. Two eggs, two hard-boiled eggs for me, um, that's what, 12 grams of protein. So then that and maybe something else is good for me. Um, a few things, um, I mentioned Greek yogurt. So this brand has, um, was it 12 or, or sometimes 11, depending on the flavor, grams of protein in there. What I typically like to do, and sometimes I do just snack on some almonds throughout the day and just pop a few. I actually popped a few before I started this video, but I may toss a few of them in here. Um, this is like a fourth of a cup has, what, six grams of protein. Usually I'm not necessarily, well, maybe a fourth of a cup, not quite a fourth of a cup, but I'm putting that in there to get some texture. And then this is actually a recent, I think for the last couple of months, I've been adding this to my um, my yogurt, and this has nine grams of calories. I mean, nine grams of protein. So between this and the yogurt, I'm at about 20. 
Um, part of the thing is also my weight's been interesting, so I'm also trying to be mindful of my calories. So if I'm incorporating yogurt, so this is like 110 calories, uh, it says three fourths cups, it's 200 calories. I'm not putting three fourths cups in here. Maybe half that if. Um, but, and I may, so I may not get the full nine grams, but between that and the almonds, I'm getting a nice source of protein, but I'm not like having a high calorie breakfast either. So that, sometimes some eggs. Um, I'm trying to think what else I eat for breakfast. Um, at times when I usually do um, granola bars, usually when I do a ride, sometimes, sometimes before run or race, just to get me, but it just depends. Um, and since I am a Honey Stinger athlete, I'm part of the Honey Stinger Hive. Um, they have these wonderful seed bars that I love. Um, they have 14 grams of protein. And so sometimes I'll eat, um, they have two different versions of the bars, the, these are the seed bars. And I, sometimes I may eat um, a little before I get on the ride and then go out at the turnaround, eat the rest, and then get back or may wait until I go out. It just really depends on how hungry I am, if I'm hungry or how I want to feel. So this is another one that I'm good. And if you guys are interested in ordering, I'm pretty sure I could share a code. Uh, I have to double check and see what the latest uh, code may have for family and friends. Um, one other thing, so I don't eat beef or pork and I'm also allergic to shellfish, um, but I do like turkey and chicken and fish. And, and I like vegetarian uh, meals too, but um, so I don't eat beef jerky, but they have these turkey jerky, what I call them, they're really called chomps, but I call them turkey jerky, turkey sticks. But this has 12 grams of pressed protein, and especially when I'm not really that hungry, um, and it's only 80 calories, I can just chomp on this. So I've been buying these, I need to buy these by the package instead of, they do sell them individually so you could try them. There's different brands sometimes at Whole Foods, but I've gotten these, I got hip to these at Trader Joe's. I'm just doing all kinds of promos here. But this was really good for me. Um, I'll buy like five at a time. Um, different brands have like um, different types of flavors, pepperoni flavor, but they're still turkey. And if you like beef jerky, you could do beef, but another good source of protein. Um, quite a few athletes are familiar with the cachava um not really i mean it comes and goes when i'm into the whole protein shakes um because again they can be thick but it's a good source of protein and so every now and then i will do i'm trying to incorporate more um just a shake like this is a meal replacement right um and this actually has 25 grams of protein so this literally is enough protein that i can should get in a meal if i'm eating three meals a day to get me up to that 60 grams um, so I do like this vanilla flavor and I recently got a sample of the chocolate. So I have to try that. Uh, I did recently go to GNC and tried one of these after, I don't know, it was a long workout, I think. And I tried it. Um, this is dairy based. However, it literally tastes like a shake. It's not thick. It, it's not even, it's like a liquid. Um, obviously you put it in the freezer. I'm tempted one day, so, because I do like my sweets, is to put this in like a mar margarita glass and freeze it so that then it'll be like an icy or slushy, I mean, yeah, like a shake, um, and just crunch it up and, yeah, eat it like it's a sh shake or, yeah, anyhow, but these actually have 25 grams in this as well. So another potential meal replacement if I'm like not, if I'm out and about, uh, a lot of times I've been at work and not actually eating a meal because I'm running and running in meetings. So keeping this is good. But I will say that sometimes I'm not really trying to do the dairy thing or even the protein shake because even the um, cachava is not dairy based. It's vegan based um, or plant based, so I say. So this is like the newest thing that I've been trying. Um, I discovered this. I don't know, a vitamin shop. I was looking and like, oh, this, and it's called Clear Protein. Um, it comes in like three different, four different flavors that I know of. Um, actually today I stopped by and I got all four. 
Um, I've tried the Tropical Orange. They have um, like a raz, razzy berry type thing. And then they also have two more. But what I like about this is that it tastes more um, like, I can't even say soda, like a, or seltzer, but it's, it's a fruity flavored drink and it's not dairy based. And um, again, so there's times where I don't really want something that's milkish. Um, and this again can be drinking like a lemonade uh, or a tea, but it's pretty refreshing. It has 20 grams of grass fed protein and it's only 90 calories too. So um, these are just a few things that I like and that I've been trying to ensure that I'm upping my protein. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you. Feel free if you want to comment or reach out to me, like what did I just mention? But um, just some things to help anyone out that, because um, again, I think after a while, sometimes people get tired of protein shakes. Yes, I do eat chicken. Um, I'm recently trying to incorporate more tuna, which is actually a good source of protein and some other things. Um, obviously, I won't say obviously, but a lot of uh, meat is a good source between salmon, beef, but like I said, I don't eat beef. Uh, turkey um, has protein, but I actually don't usually eat like meat at every meal, whether it's chicken or fish at every meal, but uh, usually I do for dinner. But even sometimes I eat vegetarian type dishes um i mean like pizza with like a vegetarian pizza um which actually depending on the pizza can have a certain good source of protein um but i just wanted to share that to help anyone out that is really trying to up their protein um especially like i said uh, this year has been one where i've really just adjusted to some changes in hormones as well as weight fluctuation just some real interesting things as you get older and um, trying to um, really adjust um, so that then I can address some of the things that I'm like are challenging for me in particular as an athlete and making sure that I'm, um, you know, really focused on my nutrition, uh, focusing on the type of workouts and strength training and other things um, so that I could stay, you know, fast, quick, strong, um, and be able to do these events and just have a good, um, balanced, healthy lifestyle, um, way into 70s, 80s, 90s, and, you know, to live longer. So again, feel free to reach out if you have any questions, and I hope you guys all having a great day.